this example of a man machine chart, we've got a fairly long fixed cycle time here, and the operator's basically walking and servicing these three machines. So it's one operator running three machines. So just like before, we get the data in here, we click on the send to balance, give it a couple of seconds, and the information will be out into the balance sheet here. So then I'm just going to cancel this. I'm going to add my uh, multiple tasks. I'm going to add four tasks here, three machines plus the operator. And by default, we're just going to call it machine. And that way we get machine one, machine two, machine three, machine four. I'm going to rename my machine four, so I edit the task here, and I'm going to make that my operator. And then I'm going to just drag the operator to the beginning, only because my personal preference is to have the operator at the start. So operator, machine one, machine two, machine three. Then we hit the right mouse button over here on the details that we brought in, and we tell it to hold the task. You can see here we've got all our data now. Now we start laying in the work content. So we do walk to machine one, and we set the mark. So point at it, hit the right mouse button, and do the mark right here. Draws the line across here. And now he's going to uh, load the machine here. And then he, only then can he run the machine. So we do the machine cycle. We drop it above the machine one. And as you see, it goes above here. Now you don't see it all because it's actually going up here. And then he's going to walk to machine two. And as soon as we do that, you'll see the whole thing to scale here. He's going to load machine two. And he's going to um, run the machine two cycle. So again, what we're going to do is drag the machine two cycle drop it above the machine two right here, above the mark, and it will automatically put it in here. And then he's going to walk to machine three. So this is the startup process he's doing. He's going to load machine three, and we're going to put the uh, machine cycle three above the machine three here. And it drops it right in here. So now he's got, he's got a long wait, but meantime he can walk back to machine one, obviously internal to that. And then what we want to do is we want to move the mark. So we hit the right mouse button on the machine one cycle, and we do mark, and it will move up here for you, right? And then you, you can only then, can, when he finishes the machine cycle, can he unload machine one. So he puts it above the line here, that's a trick, okay? Load the machine, and he's going to run the machine cycle again. Put it above here, okay? And you can see is that this machine's already stopped, but he has to walk to it, obviously. So then he has to walk to the machine. And then we have to unload the machine, machine 2, and then you can load it again, and then we get the machine 2 cycle up here, right, and then he has to walk to machine 3, and then he's going to wait for it, it's obviously already finished here, so we unload machine 3, and then he can load the machine 3, and then we get the machine 3 cycle over here. Then he can walk back to machine one. So you see we'll start to do the same thing again. He can't do anything until that machine cycle ends. And so we're going to move the mark again, hit the right button, and we're going to mark it again. It's going to move it up here. And then he's going to unload the machine. He's going to load the machine and restart it again. So here's the machine one cycle. Okay, then he has to walk to machine two. He's going to, you have to see here, it will tell you whether you're above or below it. Then he's going to unload the part from machine two. He's going to load machine two. And then you get machine two cycle again here. And then he has to walk to machine three. Right, and he's going to unload the machine. He's going to load the next, the next part in there. And then we're going to get machine three cycle it over here and then of course he walks back to machine one and he continues doing that okay so you're building up your your uh, repeat here now to find the uh, the time here you hover over it you can see every 52.1 seconds you get some a part off the machine here this time the operator is having to wait because the machine cycle is so long here now of course from the balance sheet itself you can go to the summary area and for instance you might pop out a gantt chart we could export this to Excel, and you can see here if I export it to Excel, what it's going to show you is the uh, guy working, then the weight, the guy working, then the weight, the guy working, then the weight, and if we look at the Excel sheet being built out over here, just let it finish now, okay, you can see it all, there's the guy working, the weight, the guy 
working in the weight and then down here you've got the individual machine cycles being the, the presented to you in the Gantt chart also. So in summary it's fairly easy then to do any combination of man machine type work in Timer Pro. Of course the machine cycles may differ, uh, the walking times may differ and so forth. Everything is very dynamic and, and we recommend that you just drag and drop your work content around to simulate what's going to happen in the actual factory floor.